Retro Review episode 67, Twilight New Moon. The Twilight Saga, colon, New Moon. Nailed it! <laughs> Twilight Tober continues! It does! I decided to do a before and after costume. I'll wait. I'll let you comment if anyone has any ideas. I'm April O'Neil DeCrest Tyson! <laughs> I love it. And I am Taylor Lautner, because I'm a yummy beefy baby. He's not a daddy. He was very, very childlike. And this is my wolf ears. You know, we're, we're making it work. We are. <laughs> you are. <laughs> but first things first. Yes, shout out to our Patreon supporters. $5 a month gets you early access. $10 gets you access to our viewing parties. This one I think was a fun one. Oh, Because yeah. it was getting sillier and I just was unabashedly talking. Oh, not yeah. Not over it. Like, don't worry, you can still see the movie. But, like... You can certainly see it. <laughs> I don't know how much you're going to hear it. Oh, my But God. that's okay. The dialogue's fun. not very good. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Second thing, second. Yes. This video is brought to you by adamandeve.com. Go to adamandeve.com and type in the code BITCHES to get 50% off one item and free shipping in the US and Canada. Some exclusions apply. We're happy to have them sponsor a video again. They have 90 day, no hassle returns, discreet shipping, always. Or or indiscreet. No, I, they, I, didn't, they, I, they didn't take they, our note. They didn't take our note on that they didn't one. take the note. <laughs> we should really be having the sponsor for a later film in this series. Oh. But I'll just leave it at that. Oh boy. I'll just oh, leave okay. it at that. Well, we can we can have a call back. A little tease. <laughs> the code is good all month, so don't worry. When you get inspired by whichever future movie, oh no, not inspiring. I will say in the middle of this movie, I was like, this movie would be better with sex. <laughs> you have to wait till marriage. Oh my god. Oh, of course. Andrew, you sinner. Oh, of course. Oh my <laughs> god. Oh, I didn't even think, because now this one ends. Marry me, Bella. Hello? This one ends. Oh no, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. <laughs> we'll get there. We will. We will get there. But third thing's third. Yes. Make sure to subscribe. Click that little bell button. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Yeah, click the bell button because you got to know when the next installment of our Twilight Tober comes out. Absolutely. Because you want to see where this goes. If yeah. you haven't seen the Twilight series, I'm excited to share this with you. Yeah. Also, obviously, make sure to share. Whole. Watch Twilight. Whole. Do we think Cher has seen Twilight? Yes. Okay. I would, uh, yes. Do we think she liked it? I think maybe. I think, you know, I could see Cher in like, velour jumpsuit pajamas yep watching it with like you know lounging yeah loungy vibes yeah maybe some cake or something for some reason i feel like Cher has the hots for robert pattinson i could see that i think that's Ooh, a thing i feel like i'd be down for that cougar moment yes Robert Pattinson should definitely date an older woman. Yeah. That would be very good for his image. I agree. I think he could date up. Mm -hmm, You're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway. So, the Twilight right. Saga. Waxing gibbous. No. Waning. <laughs> yeah. On Andrew's nerves. Yes. <laughs> but yes, New Moon, part two yeah. of the saga uh, from 2009. They greenlit this movie the day after it was released. Uh, Twilight One really? was released into theaters because it was, I mean, it was a phenomenon. Right. Midnight screening was crazy. I saw it twice. Yeah, wow. In a 12-hour period. Wow. You gave them all the money. You know, this one, even at the time, was a step down for me. <laughs> we had, we were like, they did it. They followed the book. Yes. This looks pretty good. I like all the actors. I'm obsessed oh, with this. Oh, no. What happened? Well, you know, partly what happened is that uh, vampires are easier to do than yeah. werewolves. <laughs> yeah, that was a rough one. You don't need CGI, per se, for a, were no, for not a vampire. Not as much. Not as yeah. much. Yeah. Uh, yes, they're a less expensive creature to produce. Obviously, running up the tree, uh, you know, with with little Yoda on your back looked really stupid. But, but then, but Jacob werewolves... parkouring into her window. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> that one actually was... That was, that was mean, all right. It, it made me right. laugh. But him... What him, about him mid-leap? And the clothes tearing off and falling to the ground. I appreciated the details there. A detail that they... I think they left out of the movies because it's stupid but practical is... I, I'm about to tell you. Okay. You know, what's, what's the, how, do, when we transform back. Right, where do the clothes we, come from or we're go? We're naked. Yeah. And I'm also 15 years old, 16. I mean, that's beside the point. But anyway, um, so in the book, I do believe that they like tie clothes to their thighs. They like tie a little bundle. So when they, so that when they, they they're back, come, they, they go, de -wolf, oh, there's still a little rope. I got with, a little, yeah. Huh. I believe that is what happened in the books. And I'm like, I get it, but that's stupid. It is stupid. We need little hidey holes. Little, little throughout fanny the packs. woods. Yeah, there you go. Just speedos strewn about the forest everywhere. They're just constantly walking around. Yeah, gym shorts, you know, right. Yeah, lots of gym shorts tossed around the, the woods. Someone's going to stumble upon all these <laughs> ripped and in half gym shorts. Going, well, also, like, how? what is their budget for clothing if they're yeah. tearing through it yeah. every time they get, you know, a little if excited? If this was Dante's Cove, they would be, they'd take off the shorts and then transform. Sure. They'd have a jock strap on. The elastic can expand. They'd be little werewolves in jock straps. Yeah, what is going on down there? They didn't... They, no, they... No. I, I mean... Do wolves have... I'm sure. Dogs do, so... But they've got, like, balls and stuff, I, I guess. Yeah, I never yeah. thought about it. I mean, until we, you know... Dogs, like... Of course. Spray and, neut spay and neuter your pets. Yeah, spray you know? and neuter them, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How are we doing? <laughs> not, not good. New Moon from 2009... Uh, we changed directing hands. We uh, got right. Chris White's uh, di director for hire. I okay. don't know. I don't that know. That makes sense, though, His... if it was like part way, right? Midstream. Oh, because so Catherine Hardrick wanted more time. Right. She didn't feel like she could produce a good movie within the year. She probably wanted more money, too. Well, I get that, right? Oh, um, my God. Yeah, I just finished you know, this I just other finished one. You want this, me to... And I really need to work on the script, and I want to make sure. And um, I wish they'd given her a little more time. Anyway, so, yeah, Chris White's... This is the filmography. It's very strange. Okay, I'm ready. American Pie. Oh. About a Boy. Oh. Golden Compass. And Down to Earth, the um, Heaven Can Wait remake with Chris right. White. Right, right. I haven't seen Down to Earth... The others are all, like, competently made films. That's the thing. And this movie's not... It's not... Garbage? No. It's a movie? Like, it's... I mean, he couldn't control a lot of the stuff that was some garbage. Some things that, you know, that just had to happen in the movie. Because it's in the script. Yeah. It's in the book. Right. And obviously, like, the CGI, they did their best. They did their... But yes, this this is the sort of most depressing of the... Well, no, that's not true. Oh, Okay. But it, yeah, it's the most sort of um, melancholy, heart, melancholy, heartbroken. You know, it's very the middle section of Pride and Prejudice when Mr. Darcy is just gone for sure for a large portion. And right. wh what's he up to? What's yeah. going on? At least that's how I felt because I I'm a I'm a team Edward. Oh sure 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 right you are not Where'd team, he go? Oh, team no. Jacob. I guess I see now where Team Edward versus Team Jacob really developed. Yes. In the books, I was a little more, yeah, I could see how Jacob would be the more healthy choice. But in the movies, Taylor Lautner's just such a little baby boy. He is a real, and that wig for such a long time oh, no. is um, not helping make him seem more appealing. <laughs> that was one of the nicest ways you could have phrased that. <laughs> When New Moon came around, were you so happy that you're like, okay, I get to shed the wig, I get to be myself finally. Thrilled, thrilled. I was so done with that wig. When he finally cuts it off. I um, mean, it still isn't great. I'm not good. But it's so much real, better. He's got a real Caesar cut going on. Yeah. It's real Pacey Witter, um, Dawson's Creek. I'm... Um, Dawson's Creek? I was too young. I wasn't allowed. We didn't have a cable channel that it was on or whatever. I don't know. What was your... Did you watch like One Tree Hill? What was like your 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 teen soap that you were like... <gasps> Boy Meets World? <laughs> that doesn't count. I know. I guess it was Queer as Folk. It was just a little later. Sure, it was just a little later. I guess right? that is... It's fairly teen-y. I mean, it's not quite... You know, it's melodramatic. It's yes, a soap certainly. opera on yes, some level. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Will they, won't they, true. they broke yeah. up. Oh, oh no, oh, drama. Yeah. Uh, you know. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so there you go. We got to the bottom of it. Oh, wait. Oh, but the teens. Oh, I find it interesting, though. Like, is he a safer or more wise choice or whatever, right? If Edward was not a fictional character and you just met him in, in reality, 
you know, he's one of those guys who'd be like an axe murderer. Not really, because yeah. here's the thing. Yeah. He's like ultra polite, really formal all the time. He's like, uh, let me open the door, let me carry the bags. It's like literally, like, you could just tell he just freak out one day and shoot someone. We know that Edward doesn't kill people. This is true. I guess he did say, I've killed people. I've killed people, and she said, that That's... doesn't matter. I've killed people before. It does not matter. But at the end of this movie, she's so judgmental about Jacob's... Well, she thinks he was kill She yeah, thinks course. his little ragtag group of, of lost boys was, was killing the people in the woods. Well, can't you find a way to just... stop? I mean, it's wrong. But it was not. It was... It was... Stefania? What's her name? Stephanie? Ste... 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 We have such a problem with it. I can't remember. Veronica! You're really close. Ver Victoria. <laughs> Nailed it. God damn it. Wow, I really do have a hard time. <laughs> Victorian era. Yep. She's been around for a long time. You're going to make a that hair connection. Yep, yep. Victoria. But so then, you know, he's like, well, I can't control my anger. Look at what Sam did to his right, this, fiance. This like um, domestic the, abuse situation that's right? going on. Well, I couldn't control it. It only happened that one time. Okay. Yikes. She's scarred for life. Yeah, literally. Um, he didn't mean it. It was like, ooh, no, these are the, guys. All these like... Right? Uh... So I'm just like, I don't know if that really is. Like, is she more likely to get hurt with Edward or with him? Who knows? She's more likely to get hurt living her life. I have never met anyone more prone to life-threatening idiocy. Seriously. I do appreciate there are multiple times, particularly in this one, yeah. where the characters, mostly Bella, are being so obnoxious. And I'm just like, this is stupid. Why are you being an idiot? And then someone in the movie will be like, this is stupid. Why are you being an idiot? And yeah. it's just refreshing. Yeah, everyone, really. Anna Kendrick, yeah. is, again, knows exactly what movie she's in, is hilarious. Yeah. Hey, um, what the hell is wrong with you? Just curious that homeboy could have been a psycho i was about to end up in an fbi interview room like some lame tv show but did has... you just run off with some biker a loser on a bike what are you doing <laughs> love it her whole monologue about zombie movies it's, it's supposed to like draw a parallel about leprosy my cousin had leprosy it's not funny you know and like it's supposed to be a metaphor for consumerism because don't be so pleased with your own like self-reverential cleverness you know like, some girls like to shop. Not all girls, apparently. Yes. Oh my god, okay, we get it. You know, yeah. Oh, it thing. was a metaphor for commercialism. Fine, but some of us like to shop. <laughs> so she, I mean, she came in for one scene and was yeah. just like yeah. nailing it. Lots of people show up in this one. We get we, a whole new cast of wolves. Well, sure. I don't know who the fuck they were. But we also get my Michael favorite Sheen. person in this series, maybe. I mean, just because Michael Sheen. Oh. <laughs> Mark. I think more than anyone knows exactly yeah. what movie and tone yeah. he is in you know, at all times. Agreed. I wish that he was in True Blood. Oh my god. Because he really would have gotten the tone of that. So good. Because yeah. he's in Underworld. And right. He gets the right. tone. Yes. I think he might be one of my faves. Uh, he is. Remember, he was the only good thing in Doolittle. Absolutely, I remember that. It's a miracle. That must mean I am the chosen one. I'm gonna change the world. Hail power. <laughs> Just preposterous. Sir, I'm afraid your obsession with Doolittle. What is... obsession? I'm not obsessed with Doolittle. You're obsessed with Doolittle. You're the one obsessing about my obsession with Doolittle. He should have been Doolittle. I think, though, what I really appreciate... That movie was Mike, beyond... Well, it was beyond repair. Yeah. But I do think that I appreciate Michael Sheen best in supporting roles. Mm. Because then there's more room to, to there's play. There's more scenery to chew. Exactly. Because you're in the background. Yeah. yeah. I would all, No, I don't wish this upon him. But I would love for him to be a Marvel villain. No. Where, but yes. But, but like, no. They, they would just throw him away and it would be a waste. No. you like Kate yes. Manchette. And you're like, why? Yeah. Why? Why, why would you, you waste this? her? Her antler headpiece. It's true. The Marvel villains are becoming the Disney villains. Like, you're like, I'm oh, rooting yeah. for them? Yeah. They seem the most interesting and three-dimensional. He had a point. They might be right. <laughs> and 
anyway, New Moon is the breakup movie. Uh, we've got, uh, it's Bella's birthday, and she is the biggest bitch on the planet. Right? Oh my God. Ugh. I didn't want any presents. Stop celebrating me. Ugh, people like me. Why? And I'm like, I don't know, girl. Right? I don't get it either. I thought we agreed no presents. Happy birthday. Don't remind me. Mm. I thought I said no presents. I've already seen you open it, and guess what? You love it. Happy. Never mind. This whole movie is just like, I don't know why he loves you. Let's move on. Yeah, just take him for his word. I'm over it. So how come Jacob Black is to give you a gift and I don't? Because I have nothing to give back to you. Oh, you give me everything just by breathing. See, thank you. That's all I want. We've got the big birthday party yeah. and roses uh -oh. everywhere. Oh, no. A paper cut. <gasps> well, I mean... Now, this is kind of real domestic abusey too. Oh, yeah, where he throws his girlfriend across the yeah. room I mean, it to was, protect her? It, the intent was get you out of the way, protect you, but. Well, I what? guess he didn't know his strength. He was so. Yeah, uh, you know, overcome. He was so tense. Again, we're making excuses for this, and it's, yeah. Maybe I'm Team Bella. I'm not, but, you know, maybe she should choose Team Bella. Um, I don't know who Team. I, I So far. Team um, Arrow. Who's that? Michael Sheen. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, no, but I mean not only because he's <gasps> Team can't be Charlie, fun. the dad. Yes, I am Team Charlie. Team Charlie. He's doing his best. He's doing his best. He's kind of hot for a dad. He's got sure. that hot dad thing sure. going on. Your dad is like serious hot to us, like sriracha hot. Team Charlie, great, I love it. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's a yummy, beefy dad. Yeah, I can take this off. <laughs> uh, we get, she gets a paper cut. <gasps> and then she gets thrown into a glass, Jasper, whatever. Like, and Jasper goes into a feet. Uh, yeah, I have to rage. eat you. I am really enjoying comparing Jackson Rathbone's performances. God. He's really got that. I'm, I keep forgetting. I'm pained from within thing down. Sure. Just the like. Real yeah. behind the eyes thing going on. Sure. And Edward decides we got to break up. Yeah. I have to break your heart because something's gonna happen. It's not safe. And you're gonna die. I mean, this is a dumb choice. He, he leaves her alone to be killed by everything and anything. I have never met anyone more prone to life-threatening idiocy. I appreciate in the first one yeah. that they set it up that happenstantially she gets entangled. Right. In this very dangerous situation where other evil, it's very true blood, where other evil vampires that aren't nice want to kill her. And now... For her super smelly, yummy blood. Exactly. And so now they, they can't be separated. He has to protect her yeah. because he's implicated her into this yes. syndicate. Um, you know. Right. I appreciate that. Yeah. But then he does just fully just peace out and be like, well, you'll be fine. What was the thought there? I think he's 17. He's, but he's not April. I know, but he's, he's like... He's 108. I think, you know what? I think I think she is making him feel like oh, 17 Oh, shut again. up, Taylor Swift. You know? Oh, I was thinking about Zac Efron. She's making uh, 17 him again. feel sure. like, you know, because when you think about it, his relationship and his conversations with Bella are the first conversations he's had in 100 years that are at all in any way engaging or surprising. True. Oh, because he doesn't know what they're he thinking. He can't hear what thinking. she's thinking. So like literally, I get it actually, Edward. I get why you fall in love with her. Oh sure. I don't know if it has to do with her. Right. But the it's fact the that you're like, that I'm like having an actual conversation yeah. with someone. I don't know what they're thinking. And yeah. Oh my god, and yeah. I'm so intrigued. And, what? Yeah. You know, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah. She's his own personal type of heroine, and he's addicted. And then he gets real um, go Withdrawal. through withdrawals. Yeah. yeah. Down well, in both Rio. of them. Oh my God. I, these scenes were just going on way too long. <laughs> oh, my nightmares. Oh, I won't eat. Oh, I'm so sad. Oh, Joe Wright and Pride and Prejudice did a much better job of like the seasons passing and the melancholy, right? Well, I didn't need the Chirons of December. But I do, I, I can tell you that in the books, mm -hmm. it's literally a page and it just of says course. October. Oh, November. stop it. Yeah. Shut up. December. Oh my God. It was so really of course, great. Then, you, then you should, that's a nice it nod. It was really great in the book. You were like, oh, I get it. Wow. 
a lot of Romeo and Juliet um, oh, right. references parallels and, and yeah. references. You're my only reason to stay alive. Another, I mean, that's not really a gothic romance. That's a tragic romance. We're going through the romances of the ages sure. in each one. We'll see what the next one reminds me of. Because I don't have, I saw the first movie a lot. Okay. I watched all of the other movies once. Wow. So this is the second time you watched this movie? Yeah. I, maybe I saw this one twice. But like, I, sure. I basically, I remember the first one vividly. Hence, there was something that, I, oh, right. We, we, um, you didn't remember that What's-His-Face dies. I didn't remember that Graham Greene. Character yeah, Graham actor Green. Graham Greene showed yeah. up and died. I forgot about that. And I was like, oh, no, he's going to die. Bummer. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so she's reading Romeo and Juliet. They're watching Romeo and Juliet. He's quoting Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. They're talking about suicide. They're each going to die for each other. Oh, no, we avoided their tragic fate. Thank God he had a sassy gay friend. What are you doing? What? What? What are you doing? does need a sassy gay friend. <laughs> right? You met him Tuesday, it's, oh, it's, it's barely Thursday. It's Jacob, it's that's Jacob. right. Oh, no, it's not, no, it's not. Love makes you crazy. Yeah, I would say so. She really does need one, yeah. 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 Um, but I also would be really fully down if it turned out that Jacob was gay. The romance for me yeah. was never there. No. It was so clear that she was like rebounding slash never really over it. You can help me do something dangerous so that I can see the hallucinations of my ex-lover. <laughs> I'm mean, say it out loud. <laughs> I mean, crazy. I love him. You love him? You met him Sunday. It's barely Thursday morning. Slow down, crazy. Slow down. Girl, crazy. <laughs> we just It's a constant state of you're in danger, girl. Yeah, like honestly. It's just, you know, you're either putting yourself in danger or you're stop. You're cliff jumping into stop a... Stop dating creatures. I just, girl. Yeah. Get out of there. Yeah. But if Jacob was just kind of like, they were friends, right? They really bonded. Yeah. And then eventually, right, his 13th year, it's the same thing. Oh, he's learning something about himself. He can't stop it. He can't. He was born this way. He said it. It's not a lifestyle choice, Bella. I was born this way. I can't help it. You're such a hypocrite. What, I'm not the right kind of monster for you? He did. He had a whole speech. <laughs> and it was like, you know what? That seemed like such a setup for it. Yeah. I mean, I guess she's Mormon, so that's probably why. Maybe, yeah. But, well, we needed a triangle. Well, of course. I mean, we Will she, it, won't but, she? But, you know. You know. But well, yeah. This, this whole book is set up to, you know, form the other side of the triangle. For me, it never did even in the books really but sure. some people really did gravitate they, they towards believed Jacob. that he could yeah yeah he could you know change her ways or whatever i mean he seems like a nicer guy i guess oh, he is pretty himbo like a little teddy bear yeah it's it's decent <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> okay i don't know how teddy bear -y he was like it was pretty rock hard well they um and those tiny little nipples <laughs> tiny nips Tiny. What was that from? From Community, wasn't there? Yeah, I think so. Tiny nipples? Yeah. Wasn't that a thing? I don't remember. But um, yes. There was a thing where they almost fired Taylor Lautner because they didn't think he could um, put on that much muscle. Oh, wow. Right. I remember that. I frame think. or whatever. Yeah. And he fucking, you know, put on 26 pounds of muscle wow. in I don't know how long a period of time. Ooh, but... It's probably really unhealthy. Oh, probably not great. But that's the other thing. It turns out. You're not going to be one of them, Bella. He doesn't have the depth right. uh, that a Robert Pattinson has to convey emotions. Yeah, the charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent, or yeah. whatever. Mm -hmm. Well, and so in this movie, we get into a lot of talk about souls. Imagine the situation in reverse. If you believed as Edward does, could you take away his soul? And yes. being damned and all of this right. stuff. A lot of um, Edward's more, uh, his beliefs are coming into play. Sure, and his suicidal depression. I mean, basically this whole movie is a cry for help. Right? I only do envy him one thing. Suicide. Both of them. I'm just kind of like, I don't know. Throw yourself on a wooden spike, I guess. No, I don't think in this world that works. Oh. They have to be like... They have to be beheaded and torn apart like that. Torn oh, apart, yeah, wow. set on fire, various things. Right. Yeah, you, there's a lot of that 
torn apart and set on fire seems yeah. to be the only way to kill a vampire. Yeah. Did the wolves... They probably didn't set him on fire. But they did tear him apart. Yeah. Ooh, that just reminded me of uh, the Grady Hendrix book, The Southerner's Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires. Oh, where they have to go through how to kill a vampire? Oh, yes. Wow. It yeah. was... That book is great, but it's definitely I, triggering. Oh, sure. I thought you were going to say it reminded you of Grease. We're going to rip them up. <laughs> We're gonna yank him and tear him and rip him. We're gonna take him and roll him around and rip him up to pieces. And then we're gonna slaughter him. That, too. That, yeah, yeah. If we'd only known, since Sid Caesar was giving us the recipe the whole time. The whole time? Yeah. Bella literally says, this is so melodramatic. She literally is like, if this is about my soul, I don't care. You can take it. Oh my god, it. right? If this is about my soul, take it. I don't want it without you. It's not about your soul. Oh what are we God. doing? Like, what are we doing? Wow, girl. Yeah. She is, you know what? She is fully digmatized. Yes, she but she hasn't even had it. Vampirized. She's glamorized. She's, Glamored? Yeah. I'm a grown woman. I think you're 14 and you're an idiot. You took a roofie from a priest. Look at your life. Look at your choices. Have you even slept with this guy? It doesn't make sense to me. That's it's just so much. We don't, haven't seen him be really much of anything. Romeo killed your cousin Tybalt. Tybalt killed his friend Mercutio. Save it, Patty Hurst. I'm not buying any Stockholm syndrome today. Thank you. Personally, I find Edward to be a lot of go on, girl. Give us nothing. Like he just he's always just kind of soft spoken and uh. he's tortured. And right. tragic and quiet, and she's gonna fix him, Andrew. Well, she's gonna do her very darn best to fix him. But she doesn't even want to fix him. I don't get that vibe. You know, it's like, no, you're perfect. You're a vampire, and I love you. And the only solution is to change me. That's not a solution. That's a tragedy. You're not gonna want me when I look like a grandmother. This one, she's real thirsty to be a vampire. She's yes. really just like, no, fucking make me a vampire. Now, if that was more of like the sexual, like, no, I need your dick in me right now kind of vibes. Edward, I want you to be the one to do it. Oh, you won't fuck me till you're married. <laughs> Let's get fucking married. <gasps> Marry me. <gasps> Marry me, Bella. Cut to credits. Oh my god. I did appreciate all the male objectification, which was fun, but also I was like, he's 15. <laughs> I don't know, there was something about it that was really funny and felt very Rennie Harlan. Yeah, in this, men are much more sexualized. Like, Bella isn't sexualized at all. At all. Right? She's a well, little, not really. The guys on the motorbikes, right? Oh, cat calling Well, there's her. some like, Ugh, but like in a... But for, for like the most part... from the part, lens, you know, she's not... We don't see it from Edward or Jacob that they're like, yeah, I'm just so into you, I really want to fuck you. No, it wasn't that at all. It feels the, really but, quite chaste. But the, but the towards the men, it's very like... Ooh, your body. Ooh, oh you're so Oh my God, sexy. you're so hot. Oh my God, look at your abs. Well, they're both, oh my God, they're you're both shirtless. shirtless often. Oh my God, I'm gonna stare into your eyes. Well, cause we know who these books were written for. <laughs> I know, but I just, I was just, you know, he takes off his shirt to like dab, <laughs> to dab, dab her head wound. I'm like, that's not sanitary. But also like, I appreciate this, this is stupid. Sure, it's very Hallmark movie. This is more sexual than a Hallmark movie. Very, yes. There's very much like a pent, There's a lot more kissing. A pent up. Sure. Yes, there's more sexual tension Instead yeah. of like, we're baking cookies. <laughs> you know. Sure. And we had one dry kiss at the end. <laughs> yeah. Because we kept getting interrupted. Right. That did happen in this. <gasps> but between her and Jacob, because yeah. it's not meant to be. It's not meant to be. Or maybe it is. I don't know. No, it's definitely not. It's always been him. She made it very clear all along. I like you, I guess. She's, I, I, I don't like being alone and you're here and you're nice. It's like really. Poor Jacob. He's um, really a uh, doormat in this. Yeah. And she's really playing with his heart. But like Alcide, I'm sure he'll find his own little werewolf darling. You'll find out. Oh boy. You'll never guess in 10,000 years. 
up or kiss. Interesting. Yeah. I really do wish that it was just a gay love. Sure. Or bisexual love. I don't care. Sure. And I mean, there is, there's always really a lot of fun stuff going on in the background, even though everything in this is so dramatic and intense. And so when there's these moments of levity, it's like even sillier somehow. Like, sure. Like go to the movies and they're going to see face punch. Put uh. your gun down. Put your gun down. Or I'm going to blow your freaking head off. Both of you. Both of your guns down. Or I'm gonna blow both of your freaking heads off. I'm gonna blow your face off. I'm gonna blow both your, your face, faces freaking faces off. Yeah. <laughs> that's really stupid. Like, yeah. That was really silly and fun. It was. We could check out. Um, love spelled backwards is love. Yeah, or love spelled backwards is love, or whatever. Yes. Like nonsense. It was very like um, the Californians. I'm yeah. gonna blow both your freaking faces off. <laughs> yeah. You know, it was very that. Your gun down. I'm gonna blow your freaking head off. Thanks for helping me with these sun dried tomatoes and this clay ball. And this clay ball. At this time of day, it's gonna be jammed. Are you crazy? An El Segunda? <laughs> it's gonna be jammed. Then you're in Marina del Raw. Karina, how do you know so much about Marina del Raw? Try? 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 Okay, we could be here all night. <laughs> all night. Well, and in a moment of uh, life imitating art, or art imitating life, rather, Jacob mm -hmm. just says, I'm not good. I'm not good. We can't be friends anymore. Damn, everyone is um, know, right? up They're and leaving her. Dumping her. We can't be friends anymore. No, sorry. I have to go hang out with my wolf pack. His Lost Boys. It really was very yeah. Lost Boysy. Michael. Michael, where are you going? Michael, Michael. Michael. Now, Joel Schumacher would, <gasps> if this movie had come out, Oh. I mean, he was still alive when this came out, but like, but like if he could have talk about oh a director my. for hire that yeah. would have yes. definitely oh. um, inserted some. I would have really ideas enjoyed that. into this story. Now there is a. I was watching this, and I was like, there is a world where this is Edward Scissorhands. And this movie works if, like, with more of a fantasy, with more of, like, a personality and, like, a sure. a vibe and a look. Like, I've created this world that's bizarre. You know, uh, there's something there. Could Tim Burton make these movies work? Is there a world where that happened? In an alternate space, I don't in a multiverse. Know. I don't think so because I think the source material. When I read it, it seemed like it wasn't. It was like it was a book that wasn't supposed to be published. Is inherently non Burtonesque. But if he Burtoned it, you then know it'd what be I mean? different. But like, but like, he's too much. He's deeper like, than this. The Notebook, right? Uh huh. The source material, right, isn't great. But it works. It's it's that tier above. Sure. I'm just trying to figure out how you could make this work. Like maybe Catherine Hardwick dodged a bullet. I don't know. Right. I get what you're saying where I feel like there could be a world where it feels a little bit more fantastical. Although, yeah. that being said, I feel like when they got to Italy, right, it it was very like, well, where are we now? Like yeah. this, uh, what weird ass ceremony is this happening? Oh, it's the St. Marco's Day Square of course. celebration of Handmaids. Why are they all in red? St. Marco's Day Festival. They're commemorating the expulsion of vampires from the city. It was very bizarre. Like the running of the bulls, but the walking of the it, red cloaks. And also very like... Oh my um, god, that just reminded me that Catherine Hardwick's follow-up to this movie was Red Riding Hood. Remember that Amanda Seyfried? Oh, terrible I, mean, I didn't see it, but... Movie. I definitely did in the theaters. Wow. Um, not good, but it had a look. Sure. It had a stamp. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, this did have the same screenwriter. Melissa Rosenberg wrote mm -hmm. them both. I guess it had a little bit less of that filter that we talked about yeah. with the first one. It was slower. Certainly slow. A little bit less iconic. It also imagery. felt a little bit more schizophrenic. Or not schizophrenic, but like there was different movies. The book is, you know, quite disjointed well, in that okay, way. Well, okay, so sure. On some level, right? Mm. Basically, how do we get Edward 
out, out of here so we can insert, insert you know, a, Jacob a, a, and this whole love story or is it or not and whatever. Right. With, you know, such great dialogue as, so you're a werewolf. <laughs> so you're a werewolf. Yeah. Last time I checked. But quick commercial break and we will be back with more werewolves. <laughs> This, too, was a soundtrack that I listened to oh. quite frequently. I listened okay. to the soundtrack many more times than I watched the movie. And I think um, that uh, all the songs were written for the movie. I'm pretty wow. sure that was a thing. This was a phenomenon. Sure, right. They were so like... So then, you know, of course... Well, Summit was like, cool, we are a thing now. We've yeah. arrived. We got yeah. some money. Well, and I'm sure the first soundtrack sold a lot. So right. everybody... And then they're like, let's get our fingers in that honeypot. Yeah. Well, and I'm sure all the artists were like, let me get on that fucking soundtrack. You sure. Know what I mean? yeah. Like, yeah. I got to get on that Grey's Anatomy season two soundtrack and I'm set. Yeah. I'm ready. It made the fray. Yes, it did. Made a lot of bands. Right? Yeah. Crazy. So uh, this is a particularly, you know, fun soundtrack, I think. Not fun, but a good one or whatever. Less, uh, not for at least, um, Claire de Lune. Yeah, there was less Claire de Lune. Well, there was, you know, the first one's more fun. They're falling in love, right. you know, whatever. This is a sad one. You know, this is sort of a sad, and it feels like, you know, it's part two of the trilogy. It should be sort of the, you know, it's the empire of the group, right? It sure. should be the sad one, yeah. you know, and we've uh, transitioned from being in love with your brother to being in love with, uh, <laughs> I mean. We didn't talk too much about Edward's ghost. Oh, um, his, his, his forced projection. What was it? Right. His he's Skype, he's his forced Skype. Skyping her. Yeah. Don't. Don't do it. Be safe. Keep walking. <laughs> this is dangerous. What was this? It was her, she's having a mental breakdown. Okay, great. In the book, you know, she's literally like, and then I saw, I, you know, she gets in some accident or something happens right. and she sees a vision mm. of Edward and what he would be thinking and saying if, if he was here and she's addicted to it. Because right. Because they're addicted to each other because... They're each other's heroine. Yeah. Not great, not great, but it is too. Like it's there's something about that just like reckless abandon of being a stupid seventeen year old, I mean, you know, whatever. Sure. Yeah. So almost dying for your love I would until die you for found you. out that they weren't dead. He's not here right now. He's arranging a funeral. I mean, that was good. I mean, that in the book was good. The, like, he's at a funeral. Oh, yeah. Oh. Who was that? Yeah. <gasps> How could you? And other such classic lines as, so Jacob's kind of a werewolf. <laughs> Jacob's kind of a werewolf. Bella, werewolves are not good company to keep. Also, I love that she just immediately, like, immediately betrays. Immediately revealed his yeah. secret. Yeah, He was like, I can't tell you literally. Oh, my God, I'm so upset. All this stuff. Oh, yeah, he's, uh, he's, kind, he's of like kind of a werewolf. Like, whatever. Uh, I, guess I mean, I guess she's a vampire, so who's she going to tell? But... And, right, why do you smell like wet dog? They're innate enemies. Yeah. But it's also, like, supposedly they have this pact and they are different. Right? Just these Collins and these werewolves. Sure, or whatever, There's right. There's a lot of talk of the treaty. Right, they constantly have to fight their instincts the to be The treaty better. comes up a lot later. There's a lot about the treaty. More? Oh boy. You don't even know what's coming. And we meet the Volteri for the first time. Oh my god. Get, Michael Sheen. I hope you um, took notes. I did Because not. there's a lot of them. And oh, they're no. going to be um, here for a while. Oh boy. Get into it. I mean, yeah, Michael Sheen, I'm into, into it. it. The rest of them, I was like, I don't know. You didn't like Dakota Fanning? No. Fanning. I honestly do not know who she is. I mean, I know who I, of her. I did not recognize her. I, I'm sorry to this man. I would not know her on the street. I don't know. It's interesting how Elle Fanning really ran away with her career. Yeah, like, yeah. Who would have thought? Because Elle Fanning... They're sisters. Right, of course. Elle Fanning is in The Great, right? Yes. That's how I know. Okay, yeah. yeah. And, and she also... There was a kind of cute movie that you might like called Teen Spirit, I believe. Okay. That's like a um, Eurovision-esque type thing, and she's like going on a singing contest, but it's like more... It's not like a comedy. It's more of like a... It's cute. It's not Euro Trip. No, it's not your trip, and it's not Eurovision, the Rachel McAdams, Will Ferrell one. That, like, Netflix movie that, that came out. That came out. Yeah. I'm surprised that I'm still surprised and shocked at 
the movies that came out with big names that were big things that I literally have no memory of. Yeah. Like when people pointed out that there was already a live action Lady and the Tramp. I oh, was that's like, right. I was like, oh, I. That in and out. escaped. I don't yeah. think I ever knew. That escaped my memory banks. I don't know. But Dakota Fanning. Yeah. Was she... she was like the little girl in War of the Worlds. She was like right. a little little child actor. Right. And then was kind of on the trajectory. Was she in Sixth Sense or something? No. No, that was Haley Joel Osment. Oh, right. Amy Poehler would do the Dakota Fanning show on oh. SNL, and it was so funny. Oh, good. <laughs> good evening. I welcome to the Dakota Fanning Show, the only forum for child actors to discuss cinema, theater, politics, philosophy, and the cultural zeitgeist at large. It was really great. It was I think I remember her more as a child, and then this was like, oh, you're a, a woman now. I yeah. don't know who you are. I mean, after all, you did do a cat in the hat. <laughs> in my defense, when I read that script, I saw it as a metaphor for ethnic violence in Central Africa. <laughs> but apparently, it was about a cat in a hat. <laughs> but yes, we get Jane. Who causes pain? All of oh, these. Oh right, yes. Um, Voltaire oh, coming no, in. No, no, please make her stop. This big fight. <laughs> All this show. Oh, and the big reveal. The big reveal was that <gasps> Bella is immune to the vampire's special powers. Yes. I just remember reading this. It was very dramatic. You sure. know, things went happen quickly. Oh yeah. my god! And they're racing, and they're driving, and they're well, going. Sure. The guy oh yeah! Oh my god! Oh my god! What's going to happen? Ah, she has to get there in time by midnight or noon or whatever. It was a very uh, theatrical. I disrobe myself into the exactly sun. At exactly noon with my spray painted abs and I'm gonna go out into that sunlight. I wish, I mean, just because I feel like he should have been fully naked. Just more scandalous that way too, you know? You just want to see his dick. I mean, I'm, well, didn't we see it in, um... I mean, there was, like, as much as we saw Ben Affleck's dick in Gone Girl. You know what I mean? Right, it, right. It was like, oh my God, his, where was it? Did I see it? <laughs> I think it was there. Right, it's not quite shame. <laughs> it's not great. It's not quite shame. It's not quite American gigolo, you know? It's not out there. Yeah. And the visions that should no, you are gonna be a vampire. This right. tuck everlasting Honestly, though. running through the with these clothes. What is this? What was this choice? Have they gone back in time? That's sort of like, oh, we're wearing linens. Yeah. And creams, in a garden and we're like running a, through the woods. Yeah. You know. Flowers and stuff. Yeah. Something about it really made me laugh. Yeah. I don't think I ever saw that movie, but I do remember the, the trailer the, for it played before some movie that I loved watching. Yes. And so Yes. And I think he always said Alexis Bledel. Alexis Bledel. And whatever. Tuck everlasting. Tuck Everlasting. Yes, you know? it was marketed everywhere for reasons I don't know. Yeah, but so I watched, it was always before yeah. a thing. Yeah. Yeah, wow. 13th year. <laughs> no, you didn't have that on VHS. No. I don't think you could. It was a Disney Channel original movie. You had to catch it when it was on. <laughs> you had to catch it. But then, yes, this big fight in Italy and, oh, I didn't tell you. I did travel to this town in Italy. No, I didn't. <laughs> At least that would be worth it, because you're in Italy. We have to go visit the town. I'm down. Okay. I will spend all of five minutes doing Twilight shit, and the rest of it is just Italy. And these were the steps where he walked out shirtless yeah. to glisten in the sun. Great. I'll be at the winery over there. Lots of talk of promises. Oh, so many promises this episode. Broad, this episode. This episode of, on this episode of Twilight Tober, lots of broad yep. promises. I promise I'll never leave you. I'll I promise I'll, I'll, never, I'll never, whatever, leave you. I'll never see I'll you never again. I promise I'll never let you down. Yeah. I promise I'm never going to, you're never going to get hurt. I'm going to keep you safe forever. Just so wow. many, like, you're making empty promises. Promises out of your control, sir. Promises, promises? Yeah. That's a thing. It is. It's a show based off of The Apartment. Is it? Well, it's the same plot. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. Sondheim? No. No. Who is it? 
Somebody. Um, it's decent. There's like one or two good songs. So, you know, it's not someone terribly unskilled. Watch, it's like someone really famous. The show's not great. I'm not going to lie. I saw it with Christian Chenoweth and Sean Hayes. Huh. Which was an interesting, they were both really fun, but Sean Hayes, sorry, just really didn't sell the, the straight love. Were they supposed to be in love? Of, uh, yeah, yeah. It was, it was a real Rock Hudson kind of. Yeah, I was like, mm, sorry guys. Although minus. Rock sells it. Well, somehow. Yeah. Oh no, so, okay, so okay. this was interesting too, right? Yeah. Where the whole fucking movie we have to hear being like, make me a vampire. I mean, me a vampire. I, I want to be a vampire. I'm with I don't you care. forever. I want to be with you forever. And then forever. That's what I'm asking. And he's like, no, it's miserable. I wish I wasn't a vampire. I'm not, I don't want to do that to you. No. Because he was fairly suicidal before the incident. Yes. Like, he was like, you know, when I thought you were going to get killed by James, I had some time right, to, to plan figure out how my, I would kill you know, myself. Plan my suicide, even though I hadn't confirmed yet your death, I had planned out my suicide. Yeah. Red flags. Yep. Yep. Oh, I do envy him one thing. Suicide. Yep, yep, yep. And the more I think about it, mm -hmm. the more he is Hayden Christensen in the prequels. Sure. Everything he says is wrong. Yeah. For humans, a little poison, a dagger to the heart. There's so many different options. But somehow in this, it sort of kind of works. Because right. it's a romance of sorts. Well, there's not as much shit going on in the background. Well, and the fact that Bella is constantly like, I don't care. I love you. You're like, okay, well, she's into it, so I guess I'll be into it. Right. Where, We're like, like, with Natalie Portman, she's like, okay. Oh, okay, you're being weird. I don't know. I have a country to but try But I'm and a save. senator. Right. I'm a senator. We can't be together? Is that what she says? Yes. Remember she's in like her dominatrix outfit? No. And he's like cutting a pair for her with the force. And he's like, I love you. I'm in agony. The closer I get to you, the worse it gets. The thought of not being with you. I can't breathe. I'm haunted by the kiss that you should never have given me. My heart is beating, hoping that that kiss will not become a scar. You are in my very soul, tormenting me. He's on his knees, begging for her, and she's like, but I'm a senator. You're starting to become a Jedi? I'm, I'm a senator. That's so weird. Yeah. I found my thing that's as embarrassing as yours. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Is it the prequels? Yes. Okay, great. Well, sort of. It's the same thing where I watched the episode one. Okay. At least a dozen times. Okay. I'm so sorry. I was 13 years old, 11 years old. I'm not. I am no. not apologizing for my love of Twilight. You don't have to apologize. I am apologizing. For for, I am okay, apologizing. It's not for good. It. I have. I've since learned. You know, right. but I was a child and I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Okay. Um. You know, I thought Darth Maul and his double-sided lightsaber was so cool. Well, you were the target audience. I was the, absolutely the target audience. Really, the sweet spot. Yeah. So I watched it a ton. How did you feel about the next two? Oh, I did. I didn't. I, I think I watched each of them once. <laughs> I went to go see the second one at midnight. Me as well. And was like, me. And then the third one, I was like, yeah, I guess I'll watch it. I, I really feel like I fell out of it, you okay. know? I thought you were going to say you secretly were really deeply invested in Amidala and... Well, I was super into that in the first one. And... When she was an adult and he was a child. Are you an angel? What? An angel. I heard the deep space pilots talk about them. They're the most beautiful creatures in the universe. They live on the moons of Diego, I think. You're a funny little boy. Well, I was just into the whole uh, movie. I don't know. Okay, I thought you. I thought she was so pretty. I mean, that's how old. Clearly, she's how old? Hair. Oh, yeah. She has. She's, got she's hair. beautiful. Look at her hair and yeah. lips and so, her face. You know. She has a face. Clearly, I was young. Um, um, but I thought you were going to reveal that you were like, I was heavily invested in their relationship and you're making fun of it right now. Oh, no. I was not heavily invested in the relationship, but I, I was heavily invested in the movies. I watched it multiple times. I bought a Star Wars Episode One Monopoly, which I loved to play. I also have gone tracks. to the place in Italy where they, you know, whatevered. Oh, the Venetian... It's in Lake Como. The... I, I went to Lake Como. But not because. No, of course not. 
Dude, that's less embarrassing. I know. I'm sorry. I was trying. Andrew, that's less embarrassing. I've been to Lake Como. <laughs> it's less embarrassing. But were you like, oh, this was where in Star Wars the No, pre- because oh. I did not like them. Right, and I did. I was like, oh, this was where in Star Wars. This, 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 this is where the space gondola came up and she was wearing a <laughs> backless dress. And she was- about so sand. you do know, you do He's talking know. about sand, and then you're like, but I'm a senator. I'm a senator. Weird. What? Yeah. Yeah. A vote of no confidence in Chancellor Valorum. Did you know what was happening in the movie? Yeah. Like, I feel like the first, like, Phantom Menace is, is so confusing. Like, there's four no. battles at the end, and they're talking about, like, you know, they gotta save Naboo, and they get all of the. They're talking about like the, sanctions on taxation of the like. Well, right, because it's like it. the beginning of all of the stupid political bullshit of like just, the the rise of the empire, right? They're right. Coalescing power. But I just remember being like, okay, I don't know. They're talking about sanctions and you know taxes. I, mean, I don't know. I'm sure I only got so much of it. Oh, okay. a blockade. They won't let anyone. You know, whatever. We'll I don't just know. Ram I liked the ship. We'll that just he, ram. It'll be fine. We have yeah. a zero point zero chance of surviving. We made it. Well, that's Star Wars. Stay on target. The Force. Yeah. It was meant to be. It was fate. But, you know, Just the... like Bella and Edward. Yeah. You know what? Yes. <laughs> I mean, oh my God, there's so many crazy things that are going to happen that are big. Ba- okay, we can't talk about it yet. No, we we're have not to get there. there yet. But I'm excited yeah. that we're on this journey. Some wacky stuff happens and oh, we're going to okay. watch them. Okay, good. We're going to watch them. Yep. So cheers yes. to Jacob never having to wear that wig again. Oh, yes. Oh, good. It's done. So cheers Cheers. to putting Taylor Lautner's wig in the disaster pile. Oh, absolutely.